Hello my friends, welcome back. I am Melanie with Melanie Smith Stamps and today we are playing with the new Dip and Dab Ink Pouncers by LDRS Creator. These are going to be a new fun experience in my craft room anyways because I have not played with any of the other ink pouncers on the market. So this is a first for me as I've never invested in any of the other products that are on the market that are similar to these. There are many and um, this is a first for me. So I thought I would share it with you. Okay, so I am going to be using the Rectangle Spotlight Stencil. This is a two-piece stencil. So it has the stencil itself and a mask. And this little mask is two by three inches. So that's the opening here and shows you here and gives you an idea of what you can do with that to give you just as a reference. And we're gonna be mixing it with the With You Better Press Sentiments. They are Life is Amazing Adventure When I'm With You and Together is my favorite place to be. So we're gonna use that. And then we're gonna use two of the three of the Pattern Play Background Geometric Dies. Now these are called Modern Geometric Cover Plates and they call them Pattern Play because they mix and match. You can use one by itself, two together, or you can use all three together to create a background. Now these shows you all three of them here and you can add one and two, you can have one, two, and three, or you can use one by itself. Here is all three of them used together. Today we're gonna to use two of them together and I've used them individually before in other videos. So that's what we're gonna be using for our background. So let me jump in here and get set up for ink blending and we will begin playing. I've got my dip and dab ink pouncers here. They come in a little case like this, very foam and here for pouncing. That one is one I have not opened and used, but I believe is the other one, the blue one. Yes, there's our blue one that we're using today. I'll just leave them here. Okay, so we will grab our stencil and I'm gonna place this. I'm using a waffle flower grip mat under my paper here. And we're gonna place this right on top and I'm leaving a white border. The opening is two by three and my paper is two and a fourth by three and a fourth. So I'm just eyeballing this as best I can. Doesn't have to be perfect, but of course I would love it to be. And when I think it is, just place it like that so it's not going anywhere. There we go. Then we will take our little boy blue and just get a little bit here of the scratch paper. Okay. And then we're just going to lightly pounce this lightest color across the stencil and I'm going to give it a light inked base here, starting with the lightest color at the top and working my way down. It's very, like it's called a pouncer, so it's very pouncy. Think of Tigger, pounce, pounce, pounce. It's not a blending motion. And I think that's why it still works with hybrids is it is not a blendy, blendy motion. And hybrids do blend, don't get me wrong, but dye-based inks tend to blend better. And I think though, with these inks, these work just as well because we're pouncing. And I like my hybrid inks because of the better press. And I like that now I have even another use for them. Okay, so there is my light. Now let's go and darken this up in the middle a little bit. This is Swimming Hole 
I love the names of the LDRS inks. I am just using one pouncer per color family. I'm just going to come in here lightly to start with and see where we're at. I'm coming in in the middle because I want a gradual blend. I don't want a harsh line there if I can help it. I'm just going to go in there. I want an ombre. And then it'll go down and be darker towards the bottom. Okay, and before I do any more there, I'm going to add the darkest at the bottom, and then we're going to work our way back into that middle. This here is this denim dark wash jeans. I love this color. I love it. But I love me a really nice dark, like a navy. I love me this color. Mm. Yes, this is like, mm, I just love this color. So I don't want to put too much of this on because I'm going to be stamping on this. So a sentiment, we're going to be stamping a sentiment and I may even stamp in that color. So now I want to pull this off a little bit. So let's get some of this darker ink out of this. Let me go ahead and just twist a little bit here and try to get some of this darkest blue out of the pouncer. Don't want, you still want to be gentle with your pouncer though. You don't want to like go hog heaven with it. I'm going to go ahead and close that up so I don't accidentally put my pouncer in that. This dark can go a long way. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here and blend that right there. Or not blend, but layer. I like to use the word layer better than blend. Because this is, this is an ombre layer technique as I would, is what I would call this. don't want to go too dark. I really think I'm going to use a tiny bit more of the light blue. And yes, this is a scrap, scrap paper. Okay. Okay. Now, this looks a little dirty right this second, but let it dry back, okay? You want to let this kind of just, I'm just doing some light taps right there where it kind of all meets. I'm just doing little light taps, very light. Now we're going to let this dry because as it dries, it's going to kind of meld and we will like it when it's melded all together. And while that melds, I am going to set up my better press. I will be right back. Okay, so now I have my panel, which has a beautiful border on it. I'm very pleasantly surprised with how even that came out using that stencil. And I'm going to lay this here in the top corner. And I'm going to eyeball this and see, okay, where would this need to be to be semi-center? And looking at this, the way I'm going to, to figure this out to be somewhat center is I'm going to hold this up and look at it, and I'm going to use these grid marks, and it looks like it needs to be just above the second square here, the second square down. This needs to be a little above that. And then it's looking like this is coming over the center line a little bit. And there's a little bit here also. So that gives us eight squares left. So I'm going to shoot for four squares and this be our middle line. So I'm going to line up 
the middle of the eight letters with that center line there. And that's how I'm going to judge this. Now let's see if that works. Um, but that's how I'm going to go. And let's just see if it works. So I'm going to look here at the second square down and go a little bit above the top line of my letters, a little bit above that second line square down a little bit above that line and then I'm going to go one two three four squares over and I'm going to line this up right where that is and then line make sure it's kind of straight there look at it straight on it looks good okay now I just need to make sure that I hook this piece in the same location as I just measured that. So I'm going to tape from the back so I don't accidentally rip any of my inked area. So I'm going to hook this on the back and I do want my light at the top and the bottom so I'm going to make sure my light is up here at the top. So I'm going to hook some of this Altony satin tape here on this and then we are going we're in the a2 section so i want to make sure i align that up with the a2 section the corner of the a2 grid so that we're lined up like so okay looks good now we will ink and i'm going to go with that dark color that i love the dark wash jeans and we're going to ink this plate Okay, it looks like it's moving a little bit, so I will have to scooch it around a little bit to make sure it's straight. I am getting a lot of ink on my plate, and that's okay. All right, so let me just get my tweezers here and just straighten this back up. So I wanna make sure, one, two, three, four, Make sure this is moved back over and this is moved back up. One, two, three, four. And this is a little bit more over. Oops. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to get my, um, my microfiber cloth and clean that up right there just a little bit so that ink does not transfer and then we're going to sit this right down here and we're going to see how we did running it through my platinum six right off the side here off screen okay and there we go. Together is my favorite place to be. Good deal. It's a little blurry. And I think that might be because I am inking on it inked, possibly. But it's not too, too bad. It's a little off, but it's not too, too bad. I have another one here. Let me just see. For reference, now this one, I do like the way it's straight though. Look at that, how centered that is. Isn't that awesome? Now I have this one that I had done previously. So let's just try something, just curiosity's sake. If I did this, now I'm using my Extreme Clean. If you guys have not gotten this, you gotta make sure you get this. Use my 15% discount. If you guys are unaware of that 15% discount, um, you get 15% off at LDRS Creative any time you're shopping. All you have to do is put in my reference code, my coupon code, Melanie15. I will put it on the screen here for you, but look at how your plates come clean. Look at this. Look, is that not amazing? The only colors I've really had trouble with are actually lighter colors like yellow. I, the colors just come out. Look at that dark blue that was right there. The colors come off so well 
with this extreme clean. You will love this. And it's not nearly as greasy and it doesn't stink. So, so I do recommend that if you are in the mood for shopping and want to try to pick some of that up, I would recommend that. Now, this one here does not have the border as that one does. So I'm gonna have to kind of fudge this a little bit because, so we're gonna have to like kind of measure this again. But I'm curious to see, okay, see this is much smaller. It's the same size blue area, but it doesn't have the white border on it. So let's just see this for a second here because I'm gonna do it in better press paper or better press ink and just see by any chance if it's reacting to its own ink. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit. Okay, so it's got a little bit, a little bit, and then it's got seven this time. One, two, three and a half. So three and a half. And about one down, so, okay. One, two, three and a half. I'm doing this kind of quickly, so if it doesn't come out super straight, that is why. Looks pretty good though to me. Okay, looks pretty good to me. So let's try, let me just see if I can grab some coastal here, hold on. Do I have it here? Yes, Cosmic Sky. Of course, moved it right out of my way. Okay, so let's just see if this does any different. I am just curious. This is still very usable and I love, like I said, I love the border on that. That is just the the blending and everything on that is so perfect. But I'm just curious to see if the Cosmic Sky Better Press Ink does a better job here. Okay. Now this may not be perfectly straight and center and all that good jazz because I'm rushing, but that's okay. This is just a trial run for us to see a great comparison. Oh, you know what it is? It's the tape. It's not the inks. It's the tape. It's the tape right under there because I put the tape underneath and this paper is moist from the ink. And that tape is doing that. So that's the only reason. Look at there. It's right where the tape is in both in both pieces. So yeah, it's not the ink in either of them. It's the tape. So I put the tape right here and right here. And that's where the inking messed up. Same with this one. So you can't might not be able to see it, but it's puckered right there. And it's puckered and the inking is messed up right there. So I'm not going to worry about it. But like I said, worked out. So worked out either way. It, it will work out. So let's just put our card together. Okay, so this is my card base. I am using some, some gorgeous papers from your paper insider box number seven that was just released in April. Now look at these orbs in this paper. I am in love with this piece of paper. But this also is a shimmer. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a shimmer paper. And then this, it just makes the orbs in this just dance. So we are doing this, and then we are adding a white layer on top. And it's just going to subdue that just a little bit, but then we are gonna put our blue on top of here. And look at the look of that. Isn't that just rich? I just love the way that looks. So that is our look. We are going to pull our little score buddy out here because I like to work in a corner when I'm using a complete cover plate. So we're going to do this. 
and I'm just going to use some liquid glue and we will glue these down and we will have our beautiful card created. All right, I'm just going to put this down here in the corner using that 90 degree corner really helps when you're doing a cover plate like this where you're covering the whole panel. Just make sure your layers are perfectly lined up or measure properly before you do this so you're not having to cut edges before or afterwards. Can you see that? It makes it so much easier. And we'll do that again with this one. Okay, put this up in the top. Put that all the way up there. And that will also make sure that these geometric lines line up perfectly as well by making sure that all goes up into the corner. It'll make sure all these little segments and dots line up perfectly. All these lines are all made to line up circles line up perfectly and all of these circles you know frame these flowers perfectly and then when you have all that together look at that gorgeousness isn't that stunning can you imagine all of the color combinations you can get and this is just two of the three layers it's like prisms in you know kaleidoscope looks you can just get so many looks with these dies so now I'm going to take this last piece and um, you know I think what I'm going to do is cut some more scrap down I'm gonna cut a couple more of these to the two and a fourth by three and a fourth so I can make this a little thicker and then we will glue that right there in place Okay, so I have glued two pieces of scrap card together, and now we will just glue this onto the back of our sentiment. And we will glue that to the front of our card. I like doing this a little bit better than the 3D foam tape sometimes when I have a larger area like this. I just think it feels more solid and it uses up some of those scraps so put some glue back here and we will place this right oh yeah right there there we go I just love the way that turned out. I don't even think it needs any embellishments, guys. I just really like that. It's pretty, and I just love the blues and silvers together. Together is my favorite place to be. And you know what? I think I'm going to give this to my husband this weekend, which is actually this past weekend. Because you're seeing this on a Wednesday, and this past weekend was my 31st wedding anniversary. So I think I'm going to give this to him for our wedding anniversary and just tell him, you're my favorite place to be, babe. And just tell him how, I much, how much I appreciate him and how much I love spending time with him. So I think he'll like that. So I am going to go. I'm going to run. This is my last video before my little weekend away. And I will see you guys very, very soon. So I should have another video by the weekend. But hey, if you're watching this, Friday night, we will be live. Better Press Babes over on Stationery by Justine. So make sure you set your timers and come and hang out and craft with us. Friday night, I believe it is 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So come check us out. If you have to miss it, make sure you check out the replay. Stationary by Justine. That's Justine Dvorak's YouTube channel. So make sure you check it out. And next month, LDRS Creative will be in the house here on my channel 
in June for Better Press Babes Night Out. So they will be our sponsor. And as always, if you're shopping with LDRS Creative, make sure you use Melanie15 coupon code when checking out for 15% off your purchases. So there will be a new release on the 30th. And I hope you guys can check it out. I will be here with a um, new release with all the Better Press items. So come back here on the channel. I will share them all with you. And that will be on May 30th. So come back here. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. You will get 15% off of all of those new release items too. So they are awesome. 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 Can I say stencils with your Better Press babes? Oh. So yes, they are amazing and you do not want to miss them. So make sure you check it out here first. I will see you soon. Bye-bye, my friends.